Hey now, Steve Sears for Bionic Buzz. We're here at the world premiere of Corey Feldman's new documentary, My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys. It's going to be a heavy red carpet, but let's go see who we can talk to. With Corey in the past or friends with him? I, I worked with him when he was 14 on a movie called License to Drive. Uh, go back a long way. I heard they weren't going to do a sequel to that. They talk about that in this movie now before him passed away. Yeah, I mean, that, that, would, have been, that would have been interesting because that, that was a bit of a breakout film for both Corey Feldman and Corey Haim. Yeah. But I, I, I recently did a, a documentary on Ronda Rousey for Lionsgate, and it's a very empowering film about the triumph of a human spirit. And I yeah. think, um, I think what, what people go through are, are men or women in, in regards to this particular doc documentary or Open Secret, which outed a lot of pe pedophiles that were, or one in particular that was working at SAG-AFTRA, that we need to really address these issues and make sure to protect people and they can't be shoved under the rug like they have been in the past. And ab above all, you have to gather the facts and use the rule of law, but there needs to be uh, people not afraid to say it because we know it's a status quo. Yeah. And they need to raise the level of ethics in Hollywood around the planet because the age of technology, the level of technology is way up here and the ethics is in the toilet. So they got to have a little balance in order to move forward and uh, take care of each other as brothers and sisters. I love that. Well, it's, it's definitely hard to talk about because I know a lot of people have been affected by this, but they didn't want other people to know about it. I think that's what's great about this is encouraging people. It's okay to talk, you know. I mean, look, I, I, I applaud Rosanna Arquette, Caitlin Delaney, Jessica Barth, uh, Pamela Guest and all the people that have held this in for such a long time because you, you shouldn't have to go through that whether you're a male, uh, a young man in Hollywood or a young woman in Hollywood. Yeah. No one should have to do that and obviously the, the people that are preyed upon, a lot of them don't have proper guardianship and some do. But the, the, the problem from the agents to the managers to producers, directors, and actors. We, we all have to hold ourselves accountable yeah. to a higher level, that's it. I'm a huge Ronda Rousey fan. Uh, what was it like working with her? You know? she's, a, she's an awesome human being. She's, yeah. she's got massive drive. Um, she refuses to quit anything. Anything she does, uh, she does brilliantly well. And she paved the way for women to earn millions of dollars in a male-dominated sport. Yeah, exactly. and, and now the headliners are making millions of dollars, and Ronda uh, paved the way. Her mother was a world judo champion, the first one, and Rhonda was the first Olympic woman to win an Olympic medal from the United States in judo. And, uh, you know, God bless her, wish her well. She's doing phenomenal in her career, and uh, God bless her. That's All right. it. Anything else yeah. in the works? Are you allowed to talk about it for a moment? I'm doing a, I'm doing a documentary on the ecosystem in the Amazon rainforest. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, totally which the ecology is a, or, or a Mother Earth is a passion of mine. And it's, it's really about the ecosystem because if plants, animals, birds, insects, and mammals are getting extincted at, at alarming rates, yeah. according to science, and, it, and it's out of balance, uh, then the world is out of balance and people need to pay attention because Mother Earth gives all of us all of our resources that we need to live. Mother Earth sustains all life on this planet, all sentient beings. You wouldn't have a car, food, water, shelter, granite, yeah. computers, nothing. So we have to really turn our, our, our consciousness to on the, uh, on the inside and take a look inside our, all of our souls individually and understand that we're all connected. Mm -hmm. and, and once you get that, uh, we would honor and treat M Mother Earth in a completely different fashion than we're doing now. Like most people, who cares? I'm not going to be around to see the day. It's irresponsible for the future generations. That's what yeah, Greta... Kids yeah, and eventually yeah. kids, hopefully. You know? But that's what Greta Turnberg talks about. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's irresponsible for anybody to say, I don't care. Yeah. At this point, I don't care. Are you Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Everyone who liked what you saw, please give us a video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and follow us on all social media at Bionic Buzz. Thank you very much.